Buhari visited Tenebu, in corruption tainted London Villa acquired by Oye Tola. Greetings to you all. Hope we are doing great in our respective locations. It's another beautiful Thursday to be alive. May his name be praised. A long time ago, tiny dragon and big panda embarked on a journey. Big panda to tiny dragon, which is more important, the journey or the destination? The company said, tiny dragon. To all my subscribers, yet to be subscribers and returning subscribers, know this, we all name each other. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Governor Oyetola, a relative of Mr. Tinibu, may have sabotaged his own country by buying the exotic property as Nigeria made to seize it. It was a meeting of two of Nigeria's most influential politicians in London. President Muhammad Buhari was visiting political kingmaker and senior member of his ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tinebu. In July, the presidency announced that Mr. Buhari was heading to London for an ed education summit. The office also added that the president would also see his doctors for medical checkup. Coincidentally, Mr. Tinebu, who had traveled to London earlier, was also receiving treatment for an undisclosed ailment in the British capital. So a perfect setting for both men to meet was created. Media handlers of the two men later flooded social media with photos of both men having what seemed like a jovial conversation in a London house. Another photo of both men standing with their face mask drawn underneath, underneath their chains were also shared. President Muhammad Buhari this evening in London, the United Kingdom visited Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinebu, Bashi Amin, and one of Mr. Buhari's media aides captured the photos on Facebook on August 12th. Certainly, it was not the first time both men were meeting, and photos of their encounter were released to the public. However, on this occasion, the release of their photographs angered many Nigerians. Many called out the two politicians for releasing photos of themselves on medical tourism while doctors in public hospitals in the country were on strike. But what most Nigerians did not know was that the property at which the dua meant was linked to one of the biggest corruption scandals in the country since Mr. Buhari became president in 2015. A Premium Times investigation has now revealed that the mansion where Mr. Tinebu welcomed President Buhari is not only embroiled in a multi-billion fraud scandal, the Buhari government had actually secured a freezing order on the property from a federal high court before the previous owner, who is now an international fugitive, sold it at a huge discount to an offshore company owned by the governor of Ochun State, Oyetola, a known proxy and a relative of Mr. Tinebo. This revelation emerged as part of the ongoing Global Pandora Papers reporting project led by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, ICIJ, and in which Premium Times is a key participant. The project involved 600 journalists from 150 news organizations around the world sorting and analyzing a trove of almost 12 million confidential files, tracking down 
and interviewing sources and adding context using public records and documents. The leaked files were retrieved from some offshore services firms around the world that set up share companies and other offshore entities for clients. Many of them influential politicians, business persons, and criminals seeking to conceal the financial dealings. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. The property, which is situated at 32 Grove End Road in the wealthy Westminster neighborhood of London, has become a sort of mecca to associates of Mr. Tinebo and politicians of the ruling APC after the former Lagos governor started staying there for what appears to be recuperation. The 32 Grove End Road Villa exudes stunning opulence, according to an advert brochure of the property released by the popular United Kingdom real estate company, Saad Bills. The estate is made up of two buildings, a five-bedroom property with a former reception, a study, a master bedroom with an ensued dressing room, bathroom, and a cinema suite with a balcony overlooking the red garden. Two of the other four bedrooms in the property are ensued. Documents obtained from the UK Property Register revealed that in July 2013, the property with title number 340992 was bought for 11.95 million euros by Zaville Holdings Limited, a share company incorporated in the British Virgin Islands, a notorious tax haven. Further documents obtained by Premium Times revealed that Zaville Holdings Limited is owned by Kola Wale Aloko, an international fugitive wanted by law enforcement agencies in Nigeria and the United States for money laundering. Kola Aloko and his associate Jide Omokere were indicted in the U.S. and Nigeria for multi-million dollar fraud and money laundering violations allegedly in collusion with a former Minister of Petroleum Resources, Dazani Allison Madoke. But just around the time, on October 18, 2017, the court dismissed the defendant's attempt to dismiss the injunction documents obtained from the UK property. Registered revealed that Mr. Aloko sold the house for €9 million Euros to a Randa Overseas Corporation, an offshore company incorporated in the British Virgin Islands by two of Mr. Tinebo's most trusted surrogates, Ade Goyega Oyetola, former share of Paragon Group of Companies and incumbent governor of Oshun State, and Elusami Elodoyi, Mr. Oyetola's successor at Paragon. The huge discount at which the property was sold is curious and raised questions of whether Mr. Alako desperately needed to sell the property even while a court of law had placed a freeze order on it. In November 1999, 18 years before it was used as a vehicle to purchase the London property, Mr. Oyetola and his Bologna partner, Mr. Elodoyi, sought the service of a Bristol, UK-based international company registration agent, Jordans Limited, to help them set up a company. They wanted a kind of setup that would guarantee some secrecy, and on November 11th of that year, the company was registered. Leaked confidential records revealed that Elodoyi and Oyetola became the shareholders and directors of Aranda, and we did not see any record that the latter resigned from the management of the company even as he served as chief of staff to his predecessor, Rauf Arekbochola, thereby breaking Nigerian's law. A Nigerian 
a person is statutorily obligated to withdraw from engaging in a directing a private business except if it is farming upon becoming a public officer section 6 of the code of conduct bureau and tribunal act stipulates apart from aranda mr oyetolo has another footprint in the offshore shadow economic he and mr elodoy in 2003 incorporated another shelf company in the british virgin islands global investment offshore limited he ran the company as a director almost throughout his term as mr aregoshola's chief of staff however in june 2018 month before he became governor he withdrew from the company and made his children rakayat oyetola Habiz Oyetola and Rashida Oyetola directors. He also transferred his shares in Global Investment Offshore Limited to Mr. Elodoyi and his son, Habiz, in June 2018. A register of directors we saw shows that all the formalities for the transfers were concluded and signed on June 1, 2018. As for Mr. Buhari, it is yet unknown why he would visit Mr. Tinebu at a property suspected to have been originally bought by Mr. Alako from the proceeds of alleged theft of Nigerians' oil money. Mr. Oyetola ignored multiple requests for him to comment for this story. A spokesperson declined to revert days after the promise to do so. As indicated earlier, the spokesperson for Buhari and Tinebu also declined to comment for the report despite multiple requests by our reporters. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. My people, they have killed Nigerian. As it is now, Nigeria is presently on life support. Instead of mobilizing Nigerians as one people in order to save this country from finally dying, the government is busy causing division, alienation, and marginalization of Nigerians and long ethnic and religious lines, and allowing corruption to grow unrestrained. What a tragedy! Most wealthy Nigerians are stupendously rich at the expense of the poor masses. Well, we are beginning to see the reactions as it is presently happening in the north. May God deliver us all in Jesus' name. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please click on the notification button for more authentic news. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.